Hey, welcome out everybody tonight. We we're talking about balancing hormones and, and Jade's um, going to take us through that. I'll just bring up on that. This is at jadebalden.com slash balancing hormones. And there we go. All right. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. This is a very important topic because uh, it's one of those, uh, one of five uh, classes that we teach to every new member. I just feel like it's a, such an important topic that uh, we wanted every new member of our doTERRA team to, to learn about and uh, to use in um, their life because this is, a, you know, healing starts here. You know, your body produces these hormones to help you with functions in your body, proper functions. Okay, without uh, hormones, you'll be dead. <laughs> so um, that's really important. And I had a guy say, oh, I have no emotions. And Dr. Hill said, but then you're dead. <laughs> so, I mean, um, emotions help with, uh, um, hormones help with the production of um, healthy emotions and things. So anyways, uh, why, um, before we talk about uh, why the hormones are important, I want to address the belief about health. Um, so most of us uh, are um, in like this, um, the US and Australia and uh, these uh, countries where um, we do a lot of symptom management. And when the doctors diagnose and they give us a, the name of a disease, uh, sometimes we, we think, oh, that's, that's terrible. Our body's broken. I didn't, uh, you know, I didn't expect that. I didn't know what's happening. Um, and uh, sometimes we feel like it's too much for us and, and uh, we're not smart enough. But I just want to let you know that you are smart enough and you are capable enough to take control of your health. Uh, and you can understand how your body works. And when you do understand how your body works, you will know what to do to help your body return to great health. Okay, it's for everyone. So you decide now that you have great health. And so you can say aloud to yourself and touch your heart and say, I am smart and capable enough to take control of my health. Okay, my body knows how to heal and function optimally. Okay, so that's very, very important foundation because I can tell you things, but a lot of people don't follow through because they don't see how they can apply it because they don't feel like they're smart enough to apply it. What if they mess up? What if, uh, you know, I mess up and make things worse? Or um, they believe that they can't or oh, won't yeah. fail. Uh -huh. So let me check with my doctor, double check. Um, and, you know, you can do that if the doctors are learned in this area and, you um, have some sort of information about natural remedies then some of them don't and a lot of friends that are doctors and they tell me they're like oh we got gypped because we didn't get those classes we don't know stuff about this um you know so anyways, and there are doctors out there that are that they do know about yeah. essential oils and yeah. everything yeah so we have stacy here she said her doctor is very open to it and uh, she's awesome um and uh, very uh, you know encouraging in this way so there are some doctors out there like that anyways we'll go right into um, hormones um, okay hormones are just these regulatory substances that our body produces um, you know and it's transported uh, through um, the fluids in our body um, just to help with uh, proper cellular function and communication mm -hmm, and communications okay so um, our pituitary gland um, is the master gland they call that the master gland because it helps produce the chemicals that tells the rest of the other glands um, to produce their chemicals in their area to function as they should. So, um, so the pituitary gland um, is sort of like the foreman and the other guys are some of the workers. So you have um, uh, hormones to help with metabolism, hormones to help with growth, hormones to, with a sexual maturation, reproduction, blood pressure, and other vital functions. So all of these hormones do a you know, very, very important job. So when we talk about hormone balancing, we're not talking about women that are irritable, that uh, yell and shout and <laughs> go crazy. We, we, this is a little bit more than that. Talking about homeostasis mm -hmm. and being balanced. balanced. And yes. Both men and women and mm -hmm. everybody has hormones as a natural body function yep so i put a whole list of things here um 
only just to demonstrate that when we our hormones are not functioning properly, it's not producing uh, the right levels of chemicals, um, we have these problems. And it's not the problem itself. It's, you know, you have to understand the root of it. The root is that our body is not producing these um, chemicals, okay? So, um, so you have irritability, um, weight gain, lower libido, allergies, UTI, uh, skin wrinkling, anxiety, water retention, hot flashes, headaches, bone loss and aches, uh, hair loss, facial hair, uh, depression, poor sleeping pat patterns, vaginal infections and dryness, and breast cell overstimulation. And I taught this class many times and it's so funny because some of the women say, hey, that's all of me. <laughs> so it's, um, you know, a lot of people do suffer from a lot of these things and they're just signs to tell you that um, you got to uh, see what you can do to balance your hormones, okay, um, in your body. Okay, so if we don't fix it, it leads to all sorts of problems. So of course, um, the pancreas uh, produces insulin, that's a hormone, and, and you see problems with that is, um, you know, diabetes and all forms of that diabetes, okay? So diabetes is a hormone imbalanced problem. Um, so all the reproduction, reproductive organs and the diseases associated with them, uh, you know, the endometriosis, other breast problems and ovary problems, uterus problems, testes problems, all of those. Um, there's so many people that tell me all sorts of names. Sometimes I think, I don't even know how to say those names. I just look it up and I say, ah, it's a problem in the uterus. Oh, it's a problem in the breast or the testes or, you know, and then I think, okay, and now I know. Um, where to go and what to do for that problem, okay? So um, just don't be caught up and then feel like you're stuck when you have a problem and it's just got this fancy name, um, okay? So you can actually help yourself if you just understand the system um, that it is connected to, okay? And all sorts of thyroid problem. Um, people say overactive, underactive, and all sorts of things, thyroid. Um, that is a hormone problem. Okay, adrenal problems, sleep problems. And, you know, we have a lot of people that tell me these disease names, but I say, oh, that, that's a sleep problem. Okay, it's just related to sleep. Um, and, of course, I know sleep is a hormone concern. One of, one of the main um, reasons is a hormone concerns, okay? One of the main causes, excuse me. Okay, so what do we do about these things? Okay, we can do... Four things, I just kind of boiled it down very simply. This is a great place to start. I know you can probably do other things, but I just thought, you know, if you can go for these four things, take good care of them, then, um, you know, your chances of feeling better is uh, very great, okay? So um, I'll pause here. Does anyone want to say anything or add anything to this? Any questions? No? Yes? <laughs> Debbie, please. You know, I just, the beauty of these oils is that it nourishes the body to do its job better. And I look at your list here of hormonal problems and, you know, what they're so prevalent in our day and age. And we've got a solution. Please, please, please share. Yeah. We've got a solution for people and they're looking for it. And we don't need to be cutting out body parts. It does, no, it does us no good whatsoever. <laughs> so um, please nourish the body and it does its job so much better yep. Amen. very good and this isn't just for women um, mainly we have women um, that are looking for solutions here but men as well like for instance man boobs is, uh -huh. is, a, is a hormonal problem yeah. um, irritability these things do affect both sex in any, any stage of life mm -hmm. that's right Okay, so we have um, <clears throat> four things to do. Um, so we'll start with the first thing is to clean your cells and reduce toxins. Okay. The next thing is to feed your cells with nutrition and supplements. And the third thing is to manage your mood and emotions. Okay, and the fourth thing is sleep well because that's the time that your body will start to repair and balance. Okay. So do these four main things and you'll see that, you know, those health problems might resolve itself. Okay. 
because you're you're supporting the body that's what we're trying to do all right so cleaning your cells is very important mostly clean out your brains okay we've got a lot of toxins a lot of metals that are um, lodged in our brains so our cells are not communicating properly and so the communication is not effective and we have malfunction and you know sometimes it malfunctions in the hypothalamus which is the one that controls the um, is connected to our nervous system um, and um, you know, through the pituitary gland. So we want to take care of the whole brain. So when your brain is sluggish, um, you know that there's something's interfering with your brain functions. So it could be heavy metals, it could be extra um, hormones from synthetic sources. So one of those things uh, is the xenoestrogen. You hear me talk about that a lot, but I can't stress it enough. And because, you know, I keep coming back to that. A lot of people keep asking me questions and it comes back to that as well. Okay, so xenoestrogen is the, these synthetic estrogens that are turbocharged. It causes your cells to, um, to act um, in unintended ways. So unintended um, signals are sent out and uh, you know your body wasn't meant to send it out but these xenoestrogens in the body will make it so so um, remember if you have high levels they're like toxins from the environment yeah. that are mimicking estrogens that, that's right so if you have the high levels of the xenoestrogens remember estrogen um, high levels of estrogen causes you to be in a fat storing mode so a lot of people try to lose weight and they don't know how to lose weight but even if they work out so much they they find that it's so difficult it's because they keep taking these you know estrogens into their body through diet and um, other things and it's just causing a lot of weight gain and of course um, when you have high estrogen levels your body is unable to absorb um, calcium effectively so your brain takes the calcium from your bones and um, you know to feed the brains because it's a very important organ to, to feed but then that makes your bone um, very uh, weak okay uh, so lots of problems there and of course um, you know men have man boobs and um, you know even in hips bigger hips and tummy thighs so it's just it's a lot of problems but these you know estrogens are endocrine disruptors and you know the endocrine system is your hormone producing system it helps with um, regulatory um, chemicals okay and then there's the neurotoxins too in our environment and that damages the brain. So you can see if the brain has a lot of um, things uh, in it that's interfering, it's not gonna produce the right chemicals for you. So, you know, instead of taking more drugs and more things to, to balance, we want to clean things out, take things out, okay? So the cells can breathe and start to talk and communicate effectively. Then it can produce the levels of hormones it needs to. The brain actually scans um, its uh, you know surroundings and it just balances all the time. So you know, for one from one minute to the next minute, if you take a blood a blood sample, you'll have different levels of hormones, different levels of chemicals. Okay, so sometimes people they they're depressed and they go to the doctors and they say I'm depressed. Of course you're depressed because you're you know you're here, and they take a snapshot of their um, blood levels, their chemical levels, and they say Oh, you're low, and all these levels. Yes, you're low. Then but what if you're happy the next day? What if something great happens the next day? Your level is going to be different then. Okay, so um, you know, your body's able to to function um, and change and uh, adapt really, really quickly. So if you take a drug because you know that one day that you have those low levels, you're going to cause your body to not produce um, the right levels of chemicals anymore because it doesn't need to. Um, these chemicals, these drugs are doing it that job for it. And so we have people that take antidepressants and, um, you know, after one year of antidepressants, their receptor sites atrophy by 60%. And, um, you know, then they wonder why they can't remember things and they have a hard time with everything else. Okay, because it just keeps getting worse. In order to get your problems resolved permanently, you really need to clean out your cells. Okay. So we have um, xenoestrogens are found in canned foods, um, farmed fish, tap water, okay, uh, plastics, factory farmed animals that are fed with GMO grains and corn, uh, soy in our food, soy comes in lots of forms, so just 
be aware. Um, of course, pollutions, perfumes, um, and uh, colognes, and um, uh, pesticides, medications, and beauty products, and so much more. Uh, but those are just the places that we can find. So just uh, doing a quick uh, search and um, read up on uh, some of these uh, uh, toxins, you will know uh, what chemicals you have at home that have these chemicals um, that uh, are endocrine disruptors and neurotoxins. There's an, a wonderful app that you can get and it's free and it's called um, Think Dirty. And, it ha and you can scan the barcode <laughs> not talk dirty or dirty talk or anything, think dirty. <laughs> and um, you can scan the barcode and it tells you to uh, what chemicals are in there. Um, and so you, you know um, how to um, okay, make purchasing decisions that way. Okay, so think dirty, that app on your phone. So scan your products before you buy it. Because now they're very smart and they change the name of the chemicals all the time and you can't keep up sometimes. Okay, but uh, yeah, I've got that wonderful app. Alrighty, so how do you clean your cells? So of course, uh, one of the first ways to do it is to eat clean. Um, your cells are always cleaning anyways, all the time. You're filtering, you're flushing, you're cleaning. So assist your body along by eating clean foods, okay? So the nutrition in the food will be the tools that your body uses to clean. So you're giving it the cleaning brush and the scrubs and okay so that's what your um, nutrition is doing okay we have a wonderful 30-day cleanse in doTERRA and that has lots of essential oils and nutrients and enzymes to give you that boost of you know it's an amazing cleanse um, how do you know you're done cleaning when you feel good okay sometimes people come to me and say hey I did the cleanse I don't feel different I said do it again and it's like, oh, but I did it. And I think, think about it. If you've had many, many, many years of building up the toxins, do you think that just a quick four weeks would do the job? Sometimes that's not um, near enough. So every few months, do it again, do it again until your breath smells better, until your brain thinks clearer and your skin is cleared and you feel more alive and invigorated. Okay, that's how you know that you've cleansed enough. Okay, so keep doing it until you feel better. So that's the feedback that you get from your body. The things, the cadence, you know, things are working properly now. You're pooping more, things are working as it should, then it's great. Uh, one lady came up to me very, very scared and uh, she said, oh, Jay, you know what? I've been doing it for a week and my pee stinks. And I said, that's a good thing. She was like, oh, it's just, what's wrong with me? No, it's good. It's cleaning and keep peeing until it smells better. <laughs> Okay, so um, yeah, sometimes people freak out like, what is happening? No, it's a good thing. Your body's doing its job, assist it along and keep encouraging it to do that. Alrighty, so other things that we can do is to reduce toxins in our home, replace the, the chemical cleaners with natural solutions like um, the one in doTERRA. Um, we have beautiful on guard cleaners, concentrates. Okay, so lots of... Uh, uh, wonderful products there that you can use and you can actually do lots of search in Google's there's so many um, alternative recipes out there um, so yeah, have fun um, if you are pregnant please don't do the cleanse okay that's one very important thing thank you Terry for reminding us um, you can save that cleansing for later thank in you. fact it's a really good idea to do the cleanse right before you're pregnant um, mm -hmm. but yeah, not such a good idea. Yeah, so if you if you're planning it well, like my sister did with her husband, they just did the first year of their marriage, just cleanse, cleanse, ate well, and they the body was super healthy. And my sister was so beautiful. She said that she had more energy, more vitality, more you know, clear mind when she was pregnant than when she wasn't. <laughs> so that was awesome. Okay, and what about for breastfeeding? Um, I don't think it's a good idea either um, to cleanse while you're breastfeeding. So, so the problem isn't because of the, the essential oils that you're putting into your um, body. It's because of the toxins, toxins are coming that you're out releasing. And you don't want your baby to, to get those toxins. If okay? you think of it, you're, you know, as those toxins come into your body from the environment, your body does one or two things. Either 
flushes them out um, or it isolates. isolates them. So it wraps them in fat and it's stored actually somewhere in your body. Mm -hmm. And the cleanse, uh, you it got, opens up your cells. Yeah, the, the, the cleanse, the 30 day cleanse, it, there's, there's two main uh, working things. So you've got the Zendocrine, which is a, a detoxification blend. Um, and that's actually re releasing all these toxins. So you don't want those going into your, your baby. Yeah. Um, then you've got the, the, um, the GX Assist, uh, which is a, a GI tract cleansing blend mm -hmm. as well. That's actually full yeah. with a lot of hot uh, yes. oils, but that yeah. also has the same effect. Yeah. Yep. Um, yep. So just wait, wait until afterwards, because you can keep those toxins in those cells a little bit longer. And you don't want the baby to have that. Good questions. Excellent questions. Now, those people that um, have problems falling pregnant, please do the cleanse and cleanse yeah. as, as often as you can. Because I found a lot of my friends, after they've cleansed a few times, their body functions properly, their periods are regular, and voila, they can get pregnant. In yeah. fact, there are some people who have gone through the cleanse and, and everything and where they had stopped having periods mm -hmm. and then the periods have start, started again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. it's all about balancing. And that's yeah. what we're talking about is hormones, hormones balancing and stuff. And I feel, uh, I feel for my friends because a lot of them are young and um, they, one, one lady, she was lucky to have one son. And then she said she stopped having a period for three years. And she was, you know, she really wanted to have another child, but you know, her body is not working properly. And, uh, you know, I just encouraged her to just to do a cleanse. And she said, well, she started and she said she got her periods back again. And I thought, there you go. Keep doing it until you feel like things are flushing out and really clean before you get uh, started again. Because really, you don't want to carry a baby in that toxic environment anyways. Because your baby will have problems, you know, and you just don't want to go there. And also, don't feel bad that you maybe didn't know about these things or didn't <laughs> have these sort of solutions before. Yeah. We, we had our four kids um, before um, yeah. we were introduced to essential oils. And, and that was a turning point for Jade and her health. Yes. Um, and all the, you know, yeah. stuff that she was able to do. And it would have been really great to have it yeah. that whole time. But that's okay. We have it now. And yeah. You can do it with what we and have I know and, and share it with other people because it's yeah a lot of my problems was it uh, was worse after I had all the kids because it was a nutritional deficiency problem okay when you're carrying a child all the nutrients go to the baby instead of you and then when you keep doing that <laughs> time and time again um, you know get to a point where you're very deficient in nutrients and uh, because you haven't um, replenished and of course, so if yeah. you're pregnant uh, you know the the um what do you call them? The supplements. Yes. Very, yeah. very important. Yes. Yeah. I know Debbie Gordon, she educated me on this. There's a lot of synthetic um, supplementation out there for, for mums uh, that are pregnant, but these are really good um, alternatives and better than anything that I've ever taken. Okay. So, um, so I, we finished the, the cleansing out your cells. Okay. So you clean with nutrition, you clean with a 30 day cleanse, you clean by just reducing the toxins um, in your home and that's one way to do it okay and now the next step is to feed your cells because your cells are building blocks and um, you know you want your building blocks to have the right tools and uh, you know nutrients to, to function optimally and of course um, you, know, you, you need to give yourself a lot of omega fats because your cells need fat um, you know, as part of their production. Okay, and your brain is mostly fat too. So if your brain is fed, then you have these healthy um, hormones produced all over your body and it'll be so much better. I know a lot of women try to eat fat-free everything and um, then they come to me and say, look, uh, I've, my hormones are out of whack. What's happening? And I'm like, eat more fat. What? <laughs> so good fats. Okay. Guacamole. Yep. <laughs> Best invention. <laughs> um, okay, so the Lifelong Vitality Pack is just amazing and I'm so excited for the Australians. You have your Lifelong Vitality Pack now and um, it's slightly different formula but um, whatever they took away, they added um, to it to balance it up so it's just as good as uh, the formula. Because the, the idea is it's supplementing your diet and diets change from country to country and doTERRA is awesome. You know, yep. in Korea and Japan, they have 
a different um, solution. Um, they wouldn't, you know, their diets are different. And so, you know, what the supplements are, they're just filling in the gaps in a, in a normal diet. And that's what you need. Mm -hmm. And it, it's bioavailable. So it's not just, oh, we grab some calcium here and put it in. The, the stuff that's going into it, like the calcium, it's, 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 it's not going to be flushed out your system. You got people who give you, you know, a bunch of fish oil pills. And then it just makes your excrement smell like fish oil because it's just going straight through your system. Whereas this, this omega oils, it's um, nano size. And so it's, it, it's able to go into your system and, and be absorbed by your body and, and do the good that it's meant there to do. So very important that you have, you know, all that formulation there. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's good. I'm, I'm really grateful for these supplements and I think both of us, um, and we, we share it with the, our kids, the, the older kids too, because it's awesome. Um, so a lot of our health problem is a, def a nutritional deficiency problem, guys. Um, and so you'll find that your body will probably balance the hormones again once you start feeding your cells. Um, and I, uh, people tell me about a certain health problem all the time. And I say, well, well just feed your cells and see how it functions. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's a lot of overweight people that are nutritionally deficient because yes. you've got your macronutrients and your micronutrients. They could be eating a lot of food, but it's not really nourishing them. Yeah. So you got to make sure you have all those micronutrients as well. Very important. For, it's yeah. like it's like Legos. You know, there's there's mm -hmm. those special function Legos. <laughs> you got to have to complete <laughs> complete your yeah. <laughs> All right, so guys, if you have um, been nutritionally deficient for a very long time, guess what? You're going to have some major problems. And when you do have the major problems, just uh, supplementing alone um, won't do the job. Um, you want to do uh, the oil blend, the DDR Prime uh, oil blend, just to help your cells uh, repair. So help it along, give it another hand because your cells are trying to repair. Um, and uh, you know, a lot of people have, um, they tell me in the uterus, they've got these cysts or whatever it is. And I just say, feed the cells, but then you look, that looks like it's a cellular um, concern and your cells are not duplicating properly. It's actually mutated and properly duplicating wrong. So you want to encourage it to duplicate properly. So here's a DDR prime. Uh, so you, you can uh, dilute the DDR prime and rub it on location wherever you need it on the breast on the um, lower abs um, you know wherever you need it and then you can take it internally too if I, that was me I would take it internally and rub it on and take the supplements okay so you want to do it both ways okay into the whole body and uh, on topically and concentrated in the area that you need to focus on okay um, and doTERRA has this wonderful um, uh, women's health and uh, kit where we have your phytoestrogen, your bone nutrient, and your clary calm. And I would add whisper to this too. And so, ladies, you know, take it as instructed on there and it'll help with the balancing hormones. So, I'll pause here if you guys want to jump in and share some experiences or your um, comments, it would be great. Jade and Ben, in Stephanie's book, she addresses cleansing and pregnancy and breastfeeding very nicely and reiterates what we said tonight. There are times when we do need to add something during pregnancy, um, and we have to address that cautiously, and she goes into that a little bit in her book. Mm -hmm. um, there are times when women have liver, their liver is so mucked up, and they end up with complications during pregnancy, and I do use the Zendocrine products. And Stephanie agrees that they are perfectly safe during pregnancy. So there are times when we do step outside of that box. But ideally, again, if we can cleanse before ever conceiving, much, much better idea. Okay. So. That's excellent. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, we use the oils. You use the lemon. You use the frankincense. You use those oils. They're cleansing anyways right now, um, whether we know it or not. But we just don't want to make it a major focus. Um, for a body while while it's trying to focus on doing something very special yeah 
That's good. Thank you, Debbie. And I do add the grapefruit oil with pregnancy too to keep those progesterone receptor sites cleaned off. Yeah. Um, so there are, that, that book is a magnificent resource and Stephanie put all that in there. So if you're pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant or know somebody who is, yes. grab a copy of that book. It's, an amazing, it's a fabulous resource. That's right. So for those of you who are listening um, or who just joined that, we did show that um, book on the, um, the previous call. Um, but it's called, uh, in fact, I might, do you mind if I, we just bring that up here? Uh -huh. I think there's a, a link to the, the yep. ebooks here. Yep. It's, um, it's called Essential Oils for Pregnancy, Birth, and Babies by Stephanie Fritz. And you can, can you buy that on Amazon or um, a lot of places where you can get books like that. Yeah. Um, we made it easy for you. There's a link there. Yeah, there's there's a link there, and um, yeah, that's that's the book that we're talking about. So yeah, it's awesome. Must read. Yeah. So the um, women's health kit you can buy it together, and it's a really good um, way to help your body balance hormones. Now we got to talk about these um, individually as well you've got the clary column that's the monthly blend for women that's um you know for those monthly times um and you just rub some on your abdomen um you know to deal with those ups and downs um and the cramping and the, and the cramping and everything the bone and that can be used for girls going through puberty yeah mm -hmm. that's right very important for girls to using to use that mm -hmm. Our daughter's using that. And we've got some guys that are using it as well. Yeah. Um, especially, uh, you know, connecting with femininity. And yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> we have some guys that, um, uh, I, can't, I can't say it nicely, but I'll say it, uh, have a hard time with women. Like hate women <laughs> almost. Um, and, uh, you know, this helps them uh, heal that um, the emotion towards women. So it's like a feminine uh, oil and uh, they, they feel safer because, you know, if they've been hurt a lot by women, um, they don't want to jump into another relationship and be hurt again. So this here helps them um, heal from the, the, that trauma. Mm -hmm. So that's really good. My friend, she's a chiropractor. She, she actually pastes uh, her um, clinic sticker over the top so the guy can see the, the name uh, women's <laughs> and the, all he knows is he loves that oil and he wants more and yeah. So it was awesome, but it helps you heal that heart. And Whisper is actually interesting. I, I made a joke. I said that it helps women not shout anymore. <laughs> but it really does. It calms you down and helps you be more soft and gentle and feminine. And um, it does. If you're soft and gentle and feminine, you don't shout. <laughs> so it's another oil um, that we tell people to use. Yeah, and Whisper is a really good um, perfume. Uh -huh. It actually has a different smell on everybody. One of the things we do in, in when we're teaching this class is um, we'll put a little drop on everybody's wrists and they can smell it from person to person. Yeah. Because um, it has all those high, I don't know what do you call them, high notes um, where it flashes off at a different rate and it smells different from, from person to person. Mm -hmm. So it's a fabulous perfume that adapts to you. There's a... Um, a young man, uh, I think he was only 17, and we had him use whisper and frankincense because he was, he was trying to be overly manly and um, to the point where he wasn't very sensitive. And the mom was very distressed and I recommended frankincense and whisper just to make it more manly smell but kind of help him uh, you know, bring out his feminine side and balance his energy a little bit and so that was interesting okay so that's another way we use it but you know phytoestrogen it's a herbal complex with um, natural plant-based um, estrogen this and um, of course you have the bone nutrient with uh, vitamin D and it just helps feed your um, your bones because when your estrogen level is lower um, and uh, it needs to be you know up and down but when it is lower your progesterone level is higher and it uh, allows you to absorb more nutrients for the bones so that's why it all goes together very well so this is the the key to these these products here um, are your hormonal Balancing. Um, balancing products. So you got yes. your phytoestrogen, which is an herbal complex. 
bone nutrient to do some of that repairing um, that we're yeah because when the estrogen levels are up just what jade said and the clary column so all these um are going to help you with that okay um, for so. ladies who are doing the blanket dance the blanket on blanket off blanket on blanket off at <laughs> night okay this is your your product so do do this if you find that you'll sleep through the night and your husband will love you for it <laughs> okay. we have ladies who come to us and they said do you have anything for hot flashes yeah um again hot flashes come from hormonal things and this is a horm hormonal support yeah. so uh, i would give them the clary calm yes. to support that system yeah it's awesome guys right so that is feeding the cells okay giving the cells the stuff that it needs to balance okay the um, extra omega oils uh, for the cells to reproduce properly and nutrients and um, you know your healthy phytoestrogens your liquid form and your herbal form okay so that's that okay the third thing here is to manage moods and emotions okay so it's funny but um, we need to go here and this is one of the most important things <laughs> even though we have oh, our ups and downs you still think have to manage means, um, you know emotional <laughs> Yeah, our, our youngest two, they, they know the word hormonal now because we have a middle child that's almost there and she gets a little bit uh, antsy when she doesn't have her clary calm. So, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about the um, managing your thoughts and feelings. Uh, so, of course, your belief creates your thoughts and your thoughts create your feelings and feelings create your physical world. That means you your body is in balance. That means your body has a lot of the health problems it has because of um, how you feel and, of course, how you feel is what you believe. Um, and so we want to um, help detect these negative self-destructive thoughts and to rewrite it. So if you have a lot of turmoil and emotions in your mind the best thing for you to do is write it all down capture it and un unload it into um, written form you can toss out the paper later on but this activity helps you focus on um, you know letting it out and then um, be mindful pay attention to the patterns of the things that you write and then rewrite it you write it in a positive opposite way because you know you say things but sometimes you, you don't notice what you're saying but if you write it down you get get to be the investigator and re-read everything that you've written and then rewrite your story and then when you change those beliefs suddenly your body is uh, freer to create healthy hormones okay so for some reason when we have some certain beliefs our physical body um, refuses to to balance properly too so an example is the uterus problems. Um, it's about unresolved feelings towards mother, okay, towards being a mother or towards our mother or towards Mother Earth. So um, say, you know, the, the Mother Earth hasn't provided for you or taken good care of you. Um, that's uh, one thing that we can resolve. Um, and, you know, it could be just negative feelings towards uh, your creative side of your life. You're feeling restricted. You can't create. You can't be yourself fully and um, create the world and life you want to live um, that's a, a uterus concern so if we have some uterus problems there that's one thing you can do is just to dig up some of those thoughts and change it and recreate um, your new beliefs so you can say for say a uterus if we're going to keep using this um, Example, you can say, I am free to create my life. Um, I am free to be creative. I'm free to speak up, um, you know, and, uh, you know, I have great relationship with my mother. I'm a great mother myself. Mother Earth takes care of me. Things like that. It will help you change your beliefs, okay? Um, and some of the oils that you can use is um, myrrh and geranium, rose, jasmine, clary, sage, wild orange, tangerine, and citrus bliss. Okay. I'm just reading the, the comments. Thank you, Debbie, for answering those questions. Do we want to, do you need to share that or no? But Chelsea was just asking about the, um, the using these supplements uh -huh. um, during pregnancy. Uh -huh. um, and yeah, this is, the bone nutrient is in addition um, to the 
lifelong vitality pack. Um, it says in the instructions if you're taking the lifelong vitality pack, you can take that into you know, into yeah. account there. And yeah, the yeah. others are are just going to help you balance those. Yeah. During pregnancy, so yes, there are there are good things to take. That's it. Yeah, well, good questions. That's great. Well, hope that answers it for you. Um, yeah. So if we go back to uh, mood and emotions, um, you can just help your body balance that way, along with um, cleaning out the debris. Sometimes your body holds on to debris for some reason, even though you're trying to flush and cleanse, um, because we have, um, you know, uh, self-destructive th thoughts, and so your cells hold on to things that destroy it. It's it's interesting that way. Yeah. Okay. And the last thing, guys, is sleeping well. Um, really work on sleeping well and pay attention to how you sleep because during sleep is when you repair and rebuild. It uh, helps your brain start processing information because um, your whole body is on, um, switched on during the day. And when you're sleeping, it's an opportunity for everything to switch off and your brain starts to clean house. And it just goes around and does all these things that it, it can't fully do during the day. Uh, so it will help um, with uh, uh, production of hormones and removes waste products. Your brain actually shrinks a little bit as when in your sleep because uh, it just flushes things out. Um, it regulates um, for growth and repair and helps with memory. So it will, it's like it's filing a whole bunch of files of all the things that's happened in your day. So that's why sometimes we have dreams that just are unrelated, disconnected, but it's everything that will happen during our day that uh, is all thrown in together there. Okay, and of course, it makes sure that you have proper hormone levels. So people find that, um, you know, they do lose weight um, sleeping more. Okay, so that's interesting. All right, so to help you sleep, we do have a whole post on sleep, but uh, you can use the Serenity Restful Blend um, in your diffuser. You can use a Serenity Soft Gels internally. Um, use a balance oil across your forehead, on your ears, back of your neck, um, and your big toes to stop the mind chatter, because our brain will chatter and talk too much um, sometimes before we sleep. Uh, Vetiva to help ground you if your mind chatters too much and way, way too much. Um, Vetiva on the big toes is just to help pull that energy down. And juniper berry, of course, you can put it um, under your tongue before you go to bed, rub it on your tummy. So those are some of the ideas that you can um, have for sleep. But uh, there's plenty of other things that you can do for sleep and you can read up on it um, in that uh, there's a handout there. Okay. Uh, but uh, sleeping is very important to balance your hormones, guys. All right, we'll turn the time over to you guys. Any questions or comments? Okay, anybody have okay. anything they want to add? Is Debbie saying something? I just, oh, sorry. Was she, you need to unmute her, honey. Oh, you're muted. There we are. One of the things that throws our hormones out of balance is indeed lack of sleep. And I am proof that that can happen. And so really we need to pay more attention to good quality sleep. And Jade, I loved your, 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 your thought here on sleep. I just texted that to a, a doula client of mine just today, those very oils to help her sleep in these last couple of months of pregnancy. She's struggling a lot. And that is a great combination of oils and they are safe during pregnancy. Yep, yep, good, thank you for adding that. It's very safe. Um, so your takeaway is, you know, to help balance your hormones, of course. Um, it's not a mystery, it's not difficult either, okay? A lot of people come very helpless and they just tell me all these problems like, I don't know if you can help me. This is just helpless. You know, I've got this problem. I'm going to die. <laughs> so I say, well, look, it's very easy actually to balance your hormones by reducing toxins, cleaning out your cells and then feeding your cells. Okay. You know, making sure you have good, healthy, balanced emotions and moods. And then of and course, rest. get lots of rest and sleep. Um, very important. 
and then suddenly you know you do that a lot and your your body just pops back to where it should be okay and you know if you haven't done that for yourself for a long time um you know you'll you'll be surprised that uh, you feel much better there's nothing wrong with you after all fantastic okay so what do you guys think any any Questions, comments, or is there anything new <laughs> that you learned today? This is so simple. You know, our, I'm, I'm always blown away by the magnificence of our mortal body. Honestly, our body was created to heal itself, and the answers are there. And we just need, I, felt, I love your program. I mean, when you, when you do what you said tonight, when you cleanse, when you reduce the toxins, when you nourish the body, it does its job magnificently well so thank you debbie that's awesome thanks what about you guys anyone else stacy did you have so we uh just ordered several lifelong vitality products um and the more I hear about them, the more excited I am to try them. And um, it, it, it seems like there's a lot of products on the market, you know, that aren't doTERRA that people say they're, they're really great. They don't explain why. And anybody that, that has talked to us about these lifelong vitality products and, you know, has gone down into the nitty gritty details about how it affects, you know, yourself on like a cellular level and how, how it builds on that. And, um, anybody that's talked about the lifelong vitality packs and things like that has also um, talked about things like getting enough sleep, um, you know, improving your your diet, things like that, and, and making more of a lifestyle change rather than just taking these pills and it'll make you feel better. Yeah. Um, and so I, I, I'm just really, you know, kind of amped to, to implement these things into our lives and, and see a physical change. And it seems as though everybody that we've, we've talked to about it has been doing it for a while. And we'll, we'll ask them, be like, well, how do you feel right now? And they say, well, I don't really know because I've been doing it for so long that I don't, I don't feel the effects like I did whenever I first started. But I know how I feel when I stop taking it and I feel horrible and I immediately, it makes me feel like I want to start taking it again. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're really excited about it. And some people can tell after just taking it for a week. Yeah. But you know what? The real um, proof is, you know, your hair, your nails, and those things, your skin, it, it changes. There's a physical change in it. And, and you know that you're doing something right when <laughs> you get We you have long, luscious locks. <laughs> and <laughs> it, it means you're being nourished. And yeah, it's yeah. not just about, you know, getting enough macronutrients being up, you know, it was like whatever, <laughs> all those little tiny things that are well, Thank you so well. much for sharing. It's yeah. good to hear from a guy once in a while. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah but you're right, too, you know, when people take the supplements, actually they, they improve their diet, too, because they, they think clearly and your body actually craves the yucky stuff less. It doesn't want the, the yucky stuff. It's so interesting that your nutritional um, quota is met and your body just wants good stuff. Good. That's, that's awesome. <laughs> yeah. We'll take all the positive like reinforcement we can get, especially if it's coming from our own bodies. Yeah. That's and you know, we've only talked a little bit about that. We actually have a whole class that goes into even more detail. Of really? Soils and uh, yeah. I do do the lifelong vitality and I do the women's thing um, and we use the whisper all the time and we use um, the clary stage all the time and that was a relief uh, for my daughter um, but then I can tell immediately when I forget to do the lifelong vitality pack I can tell by the end of the day usually um, it just seems like I get tired and I went to the dentist today so my jaw hurts that's why i haven't been talking it hurts to open it a little bit on this side so i've been putting different oils on it as we've been on but um but yeah i can usually tell like if not the first day but like the second or third day i can i can tell when i if i didn't take morning and night or something like that but um but it's only if i do it 
for a while that I, then I noticed that, oh, I haven't taken it at night. I just went to sleep or whatever. But um, I can tell. And when I went to my doctor, she noticed. She was like, oh, you're so hydrated. Look at your skin. And I was like, well, I don't know. <laughs> you know, but she's, she's like, oh, I can definitely tell. And, and I do always get compliments on my hair. But, um, yeah, they could tell it's healthy even when they cut it and stuff. So um, it comes out in physical and it comes out, like, I guess an appearance where people can just see like your face and your hair and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. that's so awesome. Thank you for bringing up dental because when you're pregnant, <laughs> sometimes people have um, like bleeding gums and you just, your body, your body gives all the nutrients to your baby first. And I remember having a lot of um, gum problems too when I was pregnant. And you know, when you're feeding your cells, and um, eye problems. yeah, you see, I, I don't, my, my vision is better, my teeth are stronger, it's just, you know, it just keeps going. But I know my friend, she does yoga, and she said every time she does a downward facing dog, she looks at her skin and she's like, oh, I've got nice and shiny skin, it's so nice, and I know it's a lifelong mortality path. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Look, if you wanted a, um, more information on the lifelong vitality path, there's the cleanse and restore program goes into that. Um, we've you know, got a video there and some information that goes into those a little bit more. Because that's part of the, you know, restores. Yeah, it's part of the five classes we teach half, everybody. Half of the program. Mm -hmm. So really good. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Well thank you so much yeah, for thank your you input, everybody. guys. Is there anybody else that has a question that we haven't answered? Or comments. We appreciate everybody's input. And thank you for being here. All right, if you do think of any other questions and you, you know, or you'd like to post a comment, you can put oh, it in yes. the comments there um, and we'll take care of it, so. All right, we'll stop the recording now. Thank you everybody for being on our call. Yeah, and thank you those who are listening to it. We appreciate you.